Russia. The best rivalry in Number high stands plays out here. Russia, Tatyana Navka, Roman Kostomarov. Tatyana Navka, Roman Kostomarov, the reigning world champs. They beat the Bulgarians for that world title last year. But if you go back a couple of seasons, it was the Bulgarians edging them off the podium. So a great chance for this crowd to watch this rivalry play out for the first time this season. Less than a point off the lead as they take the ice. Both Tatiana and Roman are from Moscow, where the World Championships will be held this season, but they now live and train in Montclair, New Jersey. The music is Tosca. their emotions and drama. Just a tad bit different than their Austin Powers routine <laughs> that we've seen in the past. And a much more serious approach this year. Beautiful transition from a straight line left with a dismount. I think that they have the best leg line in the world. When they stretch out their legs, they hold these positions, which show strength and beauty. A lot of teams don't have that length. turns but well executed. And that left some misconnection and mistiming at the very end of the program. is that they have upgraded their difficulty and their skill level, but they made, you know, two or three big mistakes toward the end of the program. That's unfortunate because they're a great team. 
And I do see the difficulty. They just have to challenge this program a little bit more, perform it and practice it very So hard. by the end of the year, it might yeah. be great. Yeah. The competition's not over between this, this couple and Denkov and Stavisky, that's for sure. Their final lift, it just looked like she wasn't able to lift up. He didn't really get a good handle on the pressure up. He struggled with the handhold there, but it was a good save, but you really never fully appreciate what the lift is supposed to look like in a quick dismount there. Now, twizzles on one foot may seem easy, but the unison, the execution being tall over your right hip is very important. But in the second set of twizzles, it takes forward and a forward outside edge, making it more difficult, more vulnerable. They just were out of sync. Sasha Julin, their coach, also Tatiana's husband. Now, they haven't lost to the Bulgarians since the 2003 Worlds. Technical elements, that's low. Wow, that is the lowest that we've seen in a lot of these top teams. 64-54 program components, 101.54. The total to beat, 204.62. They're not going to get there. 201.14. So the Russians well behind the Bulgarians, and they have lost. That is an upset. Denkova and Stavisky win for the second straight event in the 2004 Grand Prix Series. And although they're right there with the Russians, it's quite a rivalry. Anytime the world champs lose, it's an upset. Not a good start to the season for Navka and Kostomarov. Here are your final results. The Bulgarians with the gold. The Russians have to settle for the silver medal. Elabelle and Schoenfelder, good showing from France. They end up with the bronze. There's an American team, Gregory and Petchikov, who end up in fourth. Right now, the winners have been joined by Peter Carruthers. Peter. Maxime, what was the strategy coming in choosing that music for the free dance? Uh, we wanted to make, uh, to make again something strange, something different, and uh, we just found this music and we uh, understood that this music just for us. <laughs> now, you haven't beaten the Russians since the 2003 Worlds. What made the difference today? I think uh, our technical level was much, much higher than the Russian team. And besides, I think that um, we uh, did artistically very well and we had a really great support here in Japan with all our fans. This helped, uh, helped us a lot. Well, congratulations on your win here in Japan and we'll see you in Paris. Yes. All right, Peter, pretty impressive so far this season. Denkova and Stavisky as we check out the overall standings through three events in the Grand Prix. Two gold medals. They're going to the Grand Prix final. Already sewn that up. Melbourne and Augusta, we'll see them again in the Grand Prix. They have 12. Wing and low of Canada end up with 11. The non-scoring event here for Napkin and Kostomarov is a pretty good thing. One gold medal left to be 